and it's another wet and cold day here across the valley. We are still in the 40s, but let's take a look right now at South Padre Island. They are dealing with rough conditions out there as well as a bit more heavier rain uh, across our coastal areas. You're able to see those humongous waves off into the distance there, and there is a coastal flood advisory still in effect for the island, so not really a good day to be outdoors, especially for our coastal areas. As we look across Texas, if you might be heading out of town uh, later on today, uh, for, as we get closer to Thanksgiving, we are definitely seeing those uh, wet conditions all across the Texas coast from Houston, Corpus Christi, Edinburgh at 46 degrees, so we are in the 40s, and still everyone's dealing with those uh, light showers. However, as we head into the next three days closer to Thanksgiving, temperatures are going to be in the 60s and 50s, so you might need to bring those jackets as we head into the rest of the week, even though we are going to be gradually warming up across the area, and we definitely could see a few showers heading for Thanksgiving Day because we are expecting another frontal system. But our official forecast here across the valley, high temps topping it at 75 degrees. It's going to be mostly cloudy, but we're going to have a 30% chance of isolated showers, so temperatures a bit more tolerable here across the valley as we head into the end of our work week. High resolution radar right now still showing those drizzling light showers just trailing and moving through the area. Those are really not going to go away anytime soon, and we're seeing a bit more heavier rainfall just offshore South Padre Island. And when we look at future class future clouds and radar, we are expecting those temps to continue being just cold and chilly as well as those breezy conditions, and we might see a bit more heavier rain later on this afternoon for our coastal areas. And so definitely uh, keep that in mind if you are driving out in that area uh, for South Padre Island to Brownsville as a bit more heavier rainfall is expected in the overnight hours there. And uh, we're just going to continue to see these showers lasting into early Tuesday and they're going to linger through Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures slightly warmer for tomorrow, but as we look at the big picture, if you are leaving the valley today, we are dealing with that uh, coastal trough that is just uh, off over the Gulf of Mexico there. That's what's responsible for all of those rain showers. So rainy conditions stretching as far north as Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Corpus Christi. So a good chunk of Texas dealing with similar weather conditions that we're seeing here. For the next seven days, rain chances will definitely be diminishing warming up into the 70s eventually going into the middle of the week. We're still going to see those overnight lows dropping into the 50s and 40s. So Thanksgiving, 70s, lows in the 50s and 60s, and then our next weather system that's going to arrive Friday, and it will bring us some uh, slight showers, not going to be a strong a cold front like we saw this past time here, but we're going to see next weekend to be fairly pleasant. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s and 40s. So in the end, we're going to see some fantastic weather finally for us here across the valley heading into next weekend after Thanksgiving. But those nights are still going to remain a bit on the chilly side. And for the next seven days, expect those temps to continue being rather just cold and wet here across uh, the Rio Grande Valley with highs just a bit warmer for tomorrow. Those lows still in the 40s and 50s, and then we are expecting those rain chances to still diminish with our Thanksgiving temperatures looking a bit more tolerable and then remaining pleasant for the end of next week.